sabbaticals go way back. I mean, there there actually amazingly is precedent for a sabbatical, like all the way back to like the Old Testament. Um, and you know, sabbaticals are traditionally uh, every seven years in the academic world. And you know, the the reasons it was created, number one, were for rest, but also you can look at you know to learn new skills, to practice or improve upon something. And so those are the traditional reasons for why you would take a sabbatical. And I think that those are all of those are great reasons to to take a sabbatical. And I don't think anyone would hold those reasons against you. Um, so to do a sabbatical right, I would probably try and frame it in you know one of those classic columns. And you know more likely than not, you could probably touch on all of those. You know, like, hey, I need some rest. There's some things I always wanted to do, and I'm going to do something you know, new or there's a big change coming along and I'm going to make sure that, you know, I give that my full attention. So that, that would be how I would do it. Right. You know, if you're, I would come back with something to show for it. Um, is probably another way of putting it. I think where a sabbatical could go wrong is if you just stop working cause you've burned yourself out and you go and veg out, you know, if you veg out for a day or a week, no problem. You've certainly earned it. Um, you know, a month or a year and you don't come back from it, if you come back from a sabbatical with not much to show for it. I think that is where you're going to run into problems where people are going to ask, Hey, what'd you do with this time? Why'd you take a year off to, you know, binge watch absolutely everything on Netflix is probably not the best use of your time. Um, you know, for a day or a week or in your evenings. Great. But, um, make sure you're taking, taking the time to think about it and, and to do it right.